Hello everyone, welcome to you all in Monastic Online Classes. Uh, I'm Asoksa, I'm a faculty member of English Department of Monastic Higher Secondary English Scholarly School. And today I'm going to talk to you people about narration, mainly I shall focus upon the fifth classes of this narration. Uh, before this, we have already talked about the four classes, and today's class is based on uh, the fifth class, that is special rules. Mainly, uh, I shall talk to you people about change of assertive sentences. Now, let's start the class. So, class, we are continuing our narration. So, the topic is narration. In fact, we are continuing this, so it is continued. And in this uh, narration, we have already talked about the general rules in which we have talked about change of person, change of dress, change of adverbials, and change of punctuation marks. And today, I'm going to talk to you people about the volume 2, and it is under the topic that is special rules. So, very first, I'm going to talk to you people, what are the special rules? The special rules are applied through, applied to the special kinds to the special kinds of sentences To the special kinds of sentences mentioned in the reported clause of GS to get him changed into the items. What I want to tell you people is that I have already stated in my previous classes that my speaker is allowed to speak any kinds of sentences. For example, like there is Ram, is the speaker, he said to me, I have a book. For example, you can get here Ram said to me, What is your name? You can also get Ram said to me. Open the door. She can find that. Ram said to me, What a beautiful um, it is. What I mean to tell you that you can find in all the four sentences the recording clause is the same. In four different kinds of examples here, you can find the recording clause remains same. The recording clause is as it is, but in the recording clause, there you can find the different kinds of sentences. Well, at first, you can get that it is an assertive sentence. In second, you can get that there is an interrogative sentence. In the third, there is an imperative sentence. In the fourth, you can find that it is an exclamatory sentence. So, a speaker is always allowed to speak any kinds of sentences, like as an assertive, interrogative, imperative, exclamatory. Last but not least, there is an adaptive sentence also. 
That can be also spoken by a speaker. And what I mean to teach you today is if there is a special kind of genes, for example, the subject, for example, interrogative, for example, imperative, for example, exclamatory, then how we can be able to change the type of special kinds of sentences into the ideas. These all special kinds of sentences are mentioned in the direct speech, where you can find there is a recording class, a recording class, recording class, recording class. These all are in the recording class, the recording class forms. These all are the <coughs> sorry. These all are the direct speeches. And my point is to teach you today, if you find that there is an assertive sentence mentioned in the reported class of direct speech, then how we can change them into the indirect speech. So that's why we are going to talk about the special rules. The special rules are applied for the special kinds of sentences like as assertive, interrogative, imperative, and exclamatory to get them changed into the ideas. And in this way, we can find that a special rules are expressed through four kinds and they are change of Assertive sentence number two, change of interrogative sentence number three, change of. Imperative sentence number four, change of exclamatory sentence. So these are about the special rules. Once again, I want to summarize you. The special rules are used to deal with the special kinds of sentences mentioned in the particular class of DS to get them changed into the ideas and such type of special rules are expressed through the four forms and expressed through the should be forms expressed through the four forms expressed through the four kinds and they are okay, they are Change of assertive sentence, change of interrogative, change of imperative, and change of exclamatory sentences. So now I am going to talk to you people about this rule. Change of assertive sentence means my today's class is based on this rule, change of assertive sentence. Then after we will go to the change of interrogative, imperative, exclamatory, respectively in my coming classes. Okay, so we are talking about special rules and very first rule number one. Change of a certain sentence. This is the rule we are going to talk today. And before we start this rule, I want to tell you all. When we are going to this, uh, we are going to use this rule at the moment. We should know about a certain sentence. I don't know. How many of you have got the ideas about a certain sentence or not? But in my general classes, as I am going through my experience in my classroom, at the moment I find that most of my students have got little problems to understand about the certain sentence. And I think you may have the same problems. That's why I'm going to talk to you people about the certain sentence first, because I think. If you know about assertive sentence, then after you can become able to recognize assertive sentence, and only then you can apply the rules used for changing assertive sentences. So, class, my 
first glance goes to the assertive sentence. So I am going to talk to you people, what is an assertive sentence? So talking about this assertive sentence, very simple, we can keep the idea that the sentence which states or which states or says something it is called an it is called an assertive sentence for instance for example He likes he likes tea he does not like tea it's an assertive sentence what we find that these sentences state something these sentences say something and when we find that the sentence says states something, it is known as assertive sentence. I think I should give you more features about assertive sentences so that we can understand them well. And what we find that an assertive sentence always starts with the subject and ends with the stuff. So an assertive sentence. Always starts with 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 the subject subject and ends with ends with full stop. You can find an example number first, it has been started with subject, ends with full stop. Example number second, it has been started with subject, ends with full stop. So we can see that the assertive sentence always starts with the subject and ends with full stop. Second point is that it, it declares. Declares mean in a party we say like Hosnapper. It declares something. So it is also called a declarative sentence. It declares something. So it is also called a declarative sentence. Third feature is that an assertive sentence an assertive sentence can be both either positive Or negative in the sense of in the sense of giving its meaning. An assertive sentence can be both either positive or negative in the sense of giving its meaning. So it is of two kinds and they are
Affirmative. Sentence second. Negative sentence. Class. So this is this is all are about a certain sentence. I have written this all so that you can understand about a certain sentence. So a certain sentence, it always starts with full stop, ends with full stop. Uh, it always starts with subject and ends with full stop. It always declares something, that's why it's also called a degree sentence. And the most important part is that though it gives us the positive meaning or it gives us the negative meaning. Both can be a subject sentence. Only you have to understand that if the sentence starts with subject, ends with full stop. If it starts with subject, ends with full stop, then it is an a subject sentence. I hope you have understood up to here. And now, I hope you have understood about the assertive sentence. I'm going to talk to you when you find that there is an assertive sentence mentioned in the reporting clause of DS, then how you can be able to change that into the idx. So my topic is here that when there is an so deep sentence mentioned in the mentioned in the reported class of DS. We can change it into the ideas by applying the by applying the following step. Okay, before going to write the first rule, I want to give you examples. So that by giving examples, I will write the rules and you will understand them completely. I'm writing here for example so that you can understand them well. Example number one, this is DS. Okay, I'm going to write here in simple RAM says to me. I I like reading books. Is the positive one? You can see the D is is, a two, is in divided two parts: reporting class and reported class. And the reported class is an assertive sentence, giving us the positive meaning. We need to change it into the ideas. Second. Yes, I'm going to write, and it is C said to Ram. I don't like D. You can find that this is in the reported class of this DS, there is a negative statement. That is the assertion is. But it is in the negative meaning. So I have given you two examples. One, a reported class carrying a certain sentence giving us the positive meaning. Another, a reported class carrying a certain sentence giving us the negative meaning. And what I want to make you understand here is that how we can become able to change it. So you can find that in the DS, there is a certain sentence class. What I want to tell you first. While you are changing the DS into the IDS, very first, you have to have your look over the reported class. So look at the reported class very first. After looking at the reported class, you can recognize which kinds of sentence is there. If there is a sentence, only then you can apply the rules. 
If there is no MSO procedures, there is no MSO procedures, then please don't apply the MSO procedures. So, you can find that there is MSO procedures in the reporting class, there is MSO procedures in the reporting class, then after you can apply them. So, very first, you can get the rule that is the reporting. The reporting errors should be changed as a reporting group is here the word which is mentioned in the reporting class. These are the reporting group. These are the reporting group. These are the reporting part. What you have to understand here, the part which is mentioned in the reporting class. This is the reporting class. I have already discussed about these all in my previous videos. So this is the reporting class. This is the reporting class. The part which is mentioned in the reporting class that is called the reporting part. So the reporting part should be changed as if you find that there is, if you find that there is sales to it should change into tells. If you find that there is set to, it should be changed into tell. If you find that there is set to, it should be changed into told. If you find that there is said, it should be changed as said. If you find that there is a simple like said, it should be changed as said. When you find that there is has have plus set should be changed as as have plus set when you find that there is has have plus set to then it should be changed as as have plus told when you find that there is will say it should be changed as will say when you find that there is will say to it should be changed as will tell if you get there that is shall or will plus have plus say it can be changed as shall or will plus have plus say when you find that here is shall or will plus have plus Set to and that can be as self or will plus have plus told. Even you can also use yourself. You can also use yourself. Here you can give the self also. Self also. Not only that, even if you get there, had set as the reporting ball, then you can use here had set. But when you find that there is had set to, then you need to use here had told. So it's the way you can change the reporting world mentioned in the reporting class of DS, you can change it to the IPS. So these are the way. So very first, you can find your system. So this should be changed into now. You can see tells. Ram tells me there is set to. Then this set to should be changed into told. Ram told Ram. So she told Ram. So when you find that there is any certain sentence, then you can just change the reporting verb as like this way. It's about the first step. Now, let's talk about the second step. Second step says that 
If you find the relationship sentence mentioned in the report class DS, then we need to a or we need to use TSAT that conjunction to join the reporting clause in the reporting clause in MTS. So second step is that the conjunction Go. Okay, so the second rule says that we need to use the conjunction that to join the reporting clause in the reporting clause. So the conjunction TSH that should be used to join the reporting clause. Reporting class or with the or reported class. Conjunction that should be used to join the reporting class with the reported class. So you can find this is reporting class, this is reported class, and to join the reporting class with the reported class, we have to use the conjunction TSAT that. In the assembly sentence, to join the reporting clause with the reporting clause, reporting clause with the reporting clause, we should use the conjunction that. Third rule says that all the general rules what? Try to understand here. General rules means here you have always studied it before. They are change of they are change of person, change of tense, change of adverbials, and change of punctuation marks. So all general rules should be all the general rules should be applied. Once again, general rules means here change of person, change of tense, change of adverbials, and change of punctuation marks. You should apply. So according to the change of person, this is I first person. It should be changed according to the subject of the reporting class. You have already got the video at first. So there is I, it should go according to Ram, and Ram pronoun third person, Ram third person, Ram's pronoun becomes V, and then after the wooding verb is simple present tense. So there should be no change in tense. It remains as it is, it is a simple present tense, so it should be simple present tense. With V, we can change it into Viva. V lives. Reading books. Once again, you have to understand. You have changed the reporting of states to into tasks. Then after you have used the conjunction that to join the reporting clause with the reported clause in ideas. And from where you have got this E, this is first person pronoun I. So according to change of person, first person pronoun should be changed according to the subject of the reported reporting clause. There is RAM, and that's why with RAM, third person pronoun is he. Tense is simple present tense, there should be no change in tense, it is simple present tense, that's why with here we can bring a define like likes or reasons. I hope you have understood this well. Now you can get the second example, here it is, he said to Ram, I don't like to you. Then said to, he changed it to told, consumption that is used to join the reporting class with the reporting with the reporting class with the reporting class, and now it is the first person pronoun. The first person pronoun should be changed according to the subject of the reporting class. And there is C. So C, subjective case is C. There is set to. Set to means here past. It must get the tense changed here. So it is a simple present tense, which will be changed into simple past tense. And it is with simple past tense, V2. C did not like. It's a way you can change the subject sentence into the ideas. Once again, I want to summarize this, and it goes when you are going to change the DS into the ideas, very first, you have to have your look over the reported class. Look at the reported class, when you find that there is an assertive sentence, then after you can apply these rules over there. And according to the rules, very first, the reporting box should be changed, there is to. 
is to be changed into class, the accepted is to be changed into talk. And then to join the limiting clause with the important clause, we have used their that in a certain sentence. Now we will use their that to join the two clauses. And then apply all the general rules according to change of person. I so we change with Ram. Ram is first person. Male is third person male pronoun is he. It is simple present tense. That's why you should not change the tense of the particular class. It remains as it is. It is a simple present tense. It should be a simple present tense. But with he, we use the five which becomes he likes the many clothes. So it's the way you can change. And I hope after watching this video, uh, you may have developed a bit sense in yourself through which you can change. Uh, the assertive sentence mentioned in the recording clause of TS into the ideas. If you have any kind of confusions, don't forget to write your confusions in the comment. We try our best to reply to you over there also. And if you need something more, please write there in the comment so that we can mention your queries, your ideas in our coming class. Thank you very much class.